back, everybody. Welcome back. I was just, uh, I was just uh, showing the studio audience what Dick Cheney dances like. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. At the after party, we went to this after party in the museum. That's what they call it. I know, it's a fantastic play on words. And they... It was an after and this is how he dances. I know. I was like, dick! All right. Let's get on with the show properly. Uh, let, now let's take a look at the world of sport from uh, the perspective of our friends across the Atlantic. It's time for another segment of ESPN UK, everybody. Have a look at this. Good evening. I'm Sir Cecil Wellesley Hogg. Hey. I am Dirk Weems, former football star and current sex phone addict. Ah, call me Cinnamon, booyah. Joining us tonight is Ewan McGregor, actor, philanthropist, movie star, UNICEF ambassador. Blah, 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 just get on with it, nobody cares. I'm sorry about that. Welcome, Ewan, I understand you've got an announcement about your next project. I do, my next movie is the story of your life, Dirk. It's called Field of Weems. <laughs> I'll do it. Nobody can play me better than me. How much does it pay? Well, they've already got someone to play you, actually. Go back with the thing. Go down. Back. That's ridiculous! <laughs> Nobody can play me better than me. Who could they possibly get? Indeed. Who? I don't know. Can play Keep you. Keep talking. <laughs> well, we are! <laughs> Take that, respected career! <laughs> Dirk Weems, played by a Scottish pansy like you, you're not man enough to fill my jokes. <laughs> that doesn't worry me, I'm worried about gaining the 75 pounds. Hey! Uh, I'd say it's well north of that, Ewan. Yeah, I'll well just north. wear a fat suit then. What troubles me more, as an actor, is how I'm going to deal with the... <laughs> What troubles me more as an actor is how I'm going to live day in and day out with the shame of being Dirk Weems. Yeah, it's not easy. I mean, there's the drugging and the boozing and then there's all the really disturbing stuff. Hey, but... hey, I was, I was young. I, I had healthy appetites. Yeah, but a drunken brawl in a charity event. Why? Well, those, those kids kept bumping into me. How did you find out about that anyway? <laughs> Our script is based on a spook by your ex-wife. A spook? <laughs> a spook? Yes. I think you meant a book. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I don't understand uh, the bloody accent the Scots have got. <laughs> All right. So my ex wrote a book. What, Susan? No. Maria? No. Ramon? Ramon? <laughs> I met Ramon once. That is one hot mess. I don't know anything about Ramon. They never told me about Ramon. No, 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 no. no. Look at him now. No, no, not so quite, quite so confident now, are you? Hey, eh? ever had a firecracker up your ass? Don't, don't, please, please. Sorry, I went too far. You're upsetting our guests. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll upset him. I'll upset him when he gets to the scene in the movie where he has to recreate my infamous, <laughs> my infamous hobo orgy. <laughs> I'm trying my best here. Uh, you're in an orgy with the homeless? No, hobos. <laughs> Try to get... <laughs> you had an orgy with hobos? It was the easiest money those bastards ever made. <laughs> and, and, the great thing about picking up homeless people is... <laughs> you can drop them off anywhere. <laughs> You're going to scare them off doing the oh, movie. Is that what I've done? Have I scared you, Ewan? You've scared me into loving it. That's what you've done. What? <laughs> I had my doubts about this project. Playing a disgusting, washed-up has-been, but you make it sound so dark, so edgy. I can't wait to sink my teeth into it. <laughs> i tell you what you can sink your teeth into. You can sink your teeth into my heart. <laughs> Actually, that might just help. No, no, no. Give away from me, you bloody Scottish no, no, bastard. No, no. Cut it out. <laughs> That's what you say. Cut it out! We'll be right back after these messages, everyone. <laughs>